All right, there's about a week and a half left of turkey season here in Oklahoma, but hunters might already be thinking of fall and some of the other hunting seasons our state has to offer. And each year, the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation offers controlled hunts, giving hunters the chance at some unique hunts in some of the states uh, or on some of the state's public land. Here to talk about those and much more this morning, Colin Berg with ODWC. Hey, Colin. Good to be here. It's good to be here. <laughs> We're doing this, if you guys haven't caught on, once a month. Colin will be here to talk about some of the different wildlife things happening in the state. And the controlled hunts. It's basically a lottery, so to speak. It's open right now. So talk a little bit about what those are. It's an extra opportunity to harvest anything from an elk to an antelope. Those are once-in-a-lifetime hunts to hunt some of our premier areas for white-tailed deer, turkeys, youth can draw hunts. Uh, hunts for folks with physical disabilities that can, can apply for them. It's a bonus, so it doesn't count towards your regular season. They're really done in excellent manner on most of the areas that we have across the state, as well as federal refuges, open their refuges up. So encourage folks, if they've never applied, you can apply for a lot of those hunts in groups mm -hmm. of up to four for the deer hunts, the youth hunt. It's just your child and you mm -hmm. that be chaperoned on it. Um, and the youth is the only one that hunts. But it's really fun to go on those hunts because it gets back to where hunting traditions in a lot of cases started with groups getting together. Wasn't as much about the harvest as it was about the atmosphere and socializing. So Absolutely. I encourage folks to put in if they've never put in before. Right. I, I think we had some video of an antelope hunt out in <laughs> western Oklahoma, which a lot of folks pronghorn, I should yeah. say. Yeah. Uh, you know, some <laughs> some people get kind of, especially the biologist out that way. I know he's very serious about calling them pronghorns. But this is an opportunity to where you can go out and, and hunt something that you don't uh, normally get to maybe find in other areas. Yep. Not guided hunts, though. No. I mean, you don't have any Anybody taking you out guiding you? No, nope, no. Nope. If you want to do that, you need to put in for the drawings that we have coming up. Uh, these hunts, the closes on the 20th of May. I believe our other Oklahoma Outdoor Adventures that we've got close, I think, in August. Um, and there's everything from going with a bear biologist uh, when they're doing the cub deal to to checking on bears to another youth hunt that can be drawn, paddlefish, premier paddlefish, maybe catch a world record paddlefish area out at Keystone Lake. So added opportunities for folks to put in and potentially get outdoors. And the Outdoor Oklahoma Adventures, this is a raffle, so you pay for the, these opportunities and all of that money goes back into ODWC for conservation efforts. Correct. And then the the, uh, the controlled hunts, there's also a little bit of a fee there mm -hmm. as well. Yep. All of that's done on, on the app and on the website. Well, let's talk a uh, shift gears a little bit, not hunting related. Backyard birds love this time of year. They're making their nests, laying eggs. Yep. Everybody's seeing the hummingbirds coming back mm -hmm. and just other variety of bird species coming into their backyards. And, and hopefully you've got your bird nest boxes cleaned out already. There's things that you can do to make your backyard really nice for, for birds as far as having uh, brush piles piled up that they can escape to or waters and things of that sort. And we've got a whole litany of information, go to our website, type in backyard bird habitat, and there's a whole guide in there on what you can do in your backyard. For All right. Birds. And then you'll get those little things That's right. right there. That's right. They're fun to watch. <laughs> they are fun to watch, but uh, don't want to don't want to handle them. Just let them do their thing, That's right? That's right. That's Same right. thing with uh, fawns. Going to be coming up too. Exactly. Yep. If they fall out of the nest, just put them right back in the nest. All right. So thank you, Colin. We appreciate you being here, and you we'll see you in a month. 